OK， 再来。Good morning. I am back again with another vlog because today is gonna be a special day. I'm gonna get my first jab. I'm freaking nervous about it. That's why I just wanna document it for my own sake. Maybe some people wanna know how it goes down at a vaccination center. I haven't left the house in in a long time. I just wanna take you through it and show you my experience through my first jab. So just a brief little explanation of my jab later. I am going for AZ, AstraZeneca, because that is what offered by the government. I do understand that there are some side effects that comes along with AZ, but of course, it's very, very minimal. <laughs> my muscle hurts. I slept at five, so I literally, and I woke up at eight because my appointment is at 10.30. So I, Basically only slept for like three and a half hours. I know a lot of people have been putting contents like this out there. I just want to show you my experience. My mom insisted that I wear two layers of mask. Two. She said if I don't do that, she's going to force me to wear a face shield. Like not, not judging anyone out there who wears face shield. Good for you. Take care of yourself. Protect yourself. But if my mom is freaking out day, she's making eggs for me. This rarely happens. Any chance? Some more, some more. Double mass, ah? Yeah, what double mass? Ah? Why double mass? Yes. In two hundred meters, turn left. I arrived right on time, so I didn't have to wait. The waiting area is down there. People actually have recorded sessions to kind of guide you. Or someone is there with the speaker guiding us on how to fill up the forms. So I just got my vaccination. I am heading down to the observation uh, section of it. Uh, it is such a shame that they didn't allow me to sell. I'll tell you more about it later. But now, observation rules. On the door, but there's a second door. Uh, it should be automatically updated in the myself. My dad came and picked me. Very fast. Eh? Very fast also. Huh? Ah, fresh air. Uh, after the initial uh, checking and then there was consult filling up the form, there was consultation, two, le two steps of con consultation. And then after that, I went for my vaccination. I came out, observation and everything. All at a, it was 35 minutes only. I went in at 10.30 sharp. And I came out at 11.05. We had to fill in two forms. Very easy, just put your name and your IC number and then sign, that's it. Last time they allow us to like film our vaccination process, now they don't let us do it anymore. A lot of people filmed it and it went viral and people started making a huge fuss about KKM, uh, the nurses wearing gloves or not wearing gloves or what. Me, being so blur when I went in, uh, people were guiding you everywhere and they were little alies. So you you won't go missing, You it won't go wrong. And I heard that um, if you and mummy are on the same day, even your timing is different, it's okay for the both of you to go together. Just say that, oh, this is your timing and that is her timing. Uh, but both of you uh, want to take the vaccination together at the same slot. Uh, it's allowed actually. Was it painful? It's an injection. It is still painful. It was still, you can feel them uh, pushing like pushing the, the, the vaccine into your body. I'm not sure if I'm just being paranoid, uh, but I feel like 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 my neck here is numb now eh? and my arm is so I don't know. I don't know if it's just paranoid. Uh, Cause after they inject, all of a sudden I cannot think. Um, she said, open your My Sujatura app. I, I, I was like, ah, oh, My Sujatura. <laughs> Make sure uh, you have enough battery on your phone because they keep asking you to switch on your phone, open your mice to wrap, take picture of this, take picture of that. So what I got is this form uh, that I have to keep because this is my consent form. And also I have this card uh, to prove that I got my vaccination and my next vaccination is within 12 weeks. And that's it. Oh, what injury. 
<laughs> you know, this morning I made a huge fuss about double masking. I realized almost 90% of them, everyone there double mask. So the moral of the story is, uh, listen to your mom sometimes. Sometimes they give the best advice. <laughs> my mom gave me this and this is my lunch I'm not sure why but after I took a shower I felt a little hungry so here's an update I'm having lunch and I told her how everyone was wearing double mask and she's like I told you I don't feel anything now I don't feel tired <laughs> you want? No. A bad thing. Hi, I'm running a thirty-eight point four fever. Uh, my mom just sort of like tested. I have my <laughs> dad's handkerchief. And my cooler pack here because I'm having a splitting headache this helps kind of ease the headache so it has been 12 hours since I last recorded the last time I recorded was me having lunch I was starting to feel very lethargic um, so I came up and I took a nap and I think about an hour after that I started feeling very cold uh, so I have like two blankets here with me now it's a combination of cold and hot Okay, let me tell you my symptoms. I have bad headache. Uh, my muscle aches. It hurts when I lift. I couldn't move my body. So every single time I go to the toilet, it's a pain. I tend to get very thirsty. And I never usually drink a lot of water. But today I drank a lot. Uh, my neck hurts. The back of my eyeball hurts. My joints hurt. After the vaccination, they would say, Oh, by the way, you have some... You know, these are your symptoms. You probably have headaches, dizziness, um, joint pain, muscle pain, your arm probably hurts, you probably lose your appetite. I just hit the jackpot. Every single one of them applied to me. Obviously, I don't have blood clot symptoms, so I'm not in the hospital now. But yeah, this is an update. I told my mom that I wanted to take Panadols just now, and I brought Panadols here with me. She suggested that I don't take Panadols and, and kind of showed me a video. I know this is because we don't have enough information all the videos are like circling around and vaccination center suggested that yes you can take panadols if you hurt too much I dropped like what 0.2 <laughs> My friends don't even have symptoms at all. Is it because I'm weak? That's why the symptoms are more are more serious on me. Is it? <sighs> Today is the second day. It has been what time is it now? Twenty four hours since I had my jab. I feel better now. Uh, I still have. I'm still running on a mild fever. I just had a tea breakfast and my muscle still hurts. Like my joint still hurts. My muscle hurts. Um, I did not take Panadol yesterday. You don't have to take it if you can't handle it. I was telling myself if I can get through this, I'm not gonna take Panadol. It's better if you don't take any medication. It's the, I think it's the cold and hot, the hot and cold that was more unbearable than anything. I'm just gonna take another nap. That's about it. A quick update, I was just doing some research. Could I take painkillers before or after a COVID vaccine? This is from independent.co.uk and it says, experts have warned against taking any pain relief medication before or after a COVID jab. Some said that as long as you don't take anti-inflammatory medicine, it's fine. Some say pain relievers are fine, but some say pain relievers may interfere with vaccine's efficacy. I really don't know. I, I, I'm not the professional here. 
all my informations are based on what I got online as well. Developing mild symptoms such as fever is an indication that your immune system is revving up and learning how to fight off the virus. Yes. So, I don't know. I will link this down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Hi, this is 48 hours after my vaccination. Literally lost two days of my life. A quick update, I, I'm feeling a lot better now. My fever is gone, uh, my body aches are gone, my joints don't hurt anymore. But when I stand up too quickly, I still feel a bit dizzy and I'm still breaking out in cold sweat. I can't work out yet because even when I walk too much around the house, I feel very lethargic after and I cannot lift up my left arm. So my right arm is fine, see? My left arm is like... This is the maximum I could go. More than that and it starts hurting again. One very interesting thing to share. My body odour is not strong. But after the vaccination, I think it's only going to last for a couple of days, especially these two days, I realised that it's exceptionally smelly. Uh, I deduced that maybe it's because my body is trying to um, get rid of all the dead virus that's in my body, that's why it smells that bad. But it bothers me a lot, like even though I apply deodorant or perfume, it smells quite badly. And maybe because I'm very sensitive to smell, it's a problem. Now I have to take a shower four times a day because that smell bothers me a lot. The body odor thing is very personal, but I thought I'd share just in case anyone experienced the same thing that I do. At least you know you're not alone. And that's it. I talk too much. Bye. I'm not awake. I'm so not awake. Like this.